Something I see pop up from time to time is where is a cockpit view in Need for Speed 2015? Why is there no cockpit view? Now I could come here and list a million reasons as to why there isn't one, but instead of doing that, I'm going to show you that there is actually one. Yeah, I mean it. Okay, thanks, thanks again. My 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 crossfire profile is a bit broken at the moment, but anyway, this is cockpit view in Need for Speed 2015. Can you believe it? How have I? How have you done that? Is it? Is this an unlock? His, his arms are switching there. What's going on? Yes, you can probably tell. This is a mod. Now, before we dive properly into it, I just wanted to say that you've got to remember this is a mod. This may not be allowed. Ghost hasn't said anything on mods so far. It's an external application plugging into the actual game and changing stuff. So it is a mod and that may get you banned. So be very careful when using this. I'm going to use it alone in this video. I wouldn't recommend trying it. But if you want to give it a go, it is, it is something to experience, you know, different. So, unfortunately, I haven't progressed very far on the PC version of the game. So, I am actually still driving a low-end car. This is my Miata. I would switch to the outside view to show you, but it would basically mess up all the settings. Because this is not actually a cockpit view mod. Uh, this is a camera mod. So, you can move around the camera. Oh, I'm not going that way. You can move around the car freely, lock it to the car, adjust it with the keyboard and mouse while playing with the controller. It's really, really cool options. I think, I believe there was this mod um, for Need for Speed Rivals that came out actually quite recent. I think it was like maybe a year ago it came out for Rivals. Um, and it, it allows you to do quite a lot of stuff. You can add like all the photo mode effects onto the game while playing. So that's pretty damn awesome. Well, yeah, it's actually a hell of a lot of fun to drive in cockpit view. You can see this really not detailed very well. You can tell it's not supposed to be seen in this light in the slightest. But to be honest with you, I'm actually going to say if the speedos worked, this game would have more detailed interiors than Forza Horizon 2. It has that same cartoony feel in the interior and it doesn't like match the outside of the car in any way. But honestly, it's actually not as bad as I thought it was. Now, obviously, this is on the PC version of the game, so the console versions will probably even like have lower detailed interiors than this. But still, I think this is actually quite detailed. Not like, it's not going to be like... <laughs> For, um, for, for it being, you know, not visible most of the time, it's, it's actually quite well detailed. I believe Rivals actually looks pretty damn good with the interiors as well, to be fair. This is definitely, though, actually usable in some way. I didn't think it would be. Um, I wouldn't actually use it to, you know, properly race or anything, but for, you know, a little, oh, bloody, bloody hell, a little experience of every now and again just driving in the cockpit view, it's actually pretty cool. Obviously, you can't really move around the view uh, when you're actually playing, which is a little bit annoying. But, well, I mean, you could if you could switch over to the keyboard if you're using a controller or vice versa. But, I, eh, I mean, was there any need for that, mate? Obviously, with drifting, it feels a little bit funky, but it actually feels pretty awesome. Because normally with the games, obviously, there's a bit of head movement. And how to lock this completely to this exact position by locking it to the car. For it to, well, you know, stay with the car. Otherwise, it's going to be all over the bloody place. But look at this. Doesn't it look freaking cool? I, I, I did not expect it to actually work this well. Flippy, 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 whippy. Oh my god. So what I'm actually hoping as well is this is the start of a few mods. Like, Because as I said, this is like an external mod. It's not actually a proper mod, if such. Um, where it doesn't actually, you know, go edit the game files or anything. Um, so I'm wondering how that's all going to work. But it's good that we've actually got a mod this early on the game. Because it shows me that, like, because obviously Rivals didn't get a lot of mods very quickly because, well, I don't know, it's, it's Frostbite and the fact that it's it's just, ah, it wasn't a popular game. Whereas games that are generally popular tend to get more mods, obviously, that makes more sense. So hopefully by making a video on this mod, we'll actually get some other people start to make mods as well. I think if I could help in some slight way where someone goes, you know what, I'm going to try and make a mod for me soon now. That'll be freaking awesome. Again, I'm going to use them offline and hopefully... The Ghosts don't kill me for this, but come on, it's it's a it's a mod that change, like adds a feature if, if such to the game, so I, I, I had to give it a go. Right, come on then, Whopper. Me and you are gonna have a race. He's in the OP Porsche, but he's obviously not upgraded it as much as as he should because, well, obviously I'm a low end, so they hopefully match to me. I couldn't say. He seems to be pretty matched to me so far, so fingers crossed. Come on, Miata. I should have put time reel for license on it. It doesn't drift enough to build up the bloody NOS again. Here we go. Drift around the corner. Come on. Oh, it feels so weird at times trying to like handbrake with this cockpit view though. Because normally you can see into the corner before you go into it. So, and who's this? We could have probably gone against him and actually won. But no, 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 no. We've got to, we're going to take the Porsche. We're, we're in the battle now. We've got to do it. Hopefully you take this corner really badly. Come on. Look at this. Flippy. No. I want to beat the Porsche. No, there's the finish. I haven't beat the Porsche. But hey, 
You can race in it and actually do pretty well. I managed to get... I honestly thought I would fall mad. Oh my god, that's so cool. It looks like it's supposed to do that. Look at that. That's freaking... That is sick. Oh my god. I'm in love. I'm in love. This mod feels as if it's supposed to be an option in the game. Now, another cool feature is you can actually press the home button to turn off the hood very quickly because it's a photo. It's supposed to be like a, uh, a camera hack, if that makes sense. So, as you can clearly see here... It actually makes it look like cinematic or something. If you really want to switch back, you can. Obviously, you don't have a speedo anymore. And I believe you can turn off individual settings in the menu. So that would be a pretty well, a better way to do it. But for a quick, easy access way to call, like, get a cool cinematic shot, this, this I think, is the best option. But let's try and do a, a flippy wibby around here. Look at it! Look at it! This is amazing. I'm actually really, really, really impressed with this mod. Look at it! Look at it! Anyway, I think I'll round this video off here because I've shown you exactly how this mod is. It makes the game harder to play, but not as hard as I thought it would be. And it looks freaking pretty good, actually. It takes a little bit of mucking around with the camera to get the final perfect settings and such. But I think I might do a few more videos on this, probably with the wheel. I want to try the wheel with the cockpit view. I think that would be pretty freaking awesome. Maybe I can go like Drive Club style and put it up in front of the wheel and have like a dash for you. That would be amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think of this mod in the comments, and are you going to try it yourself? And remember, try and use it alone. I would, if you're going to use it, I, I wouldn't recommend trying it in a public game just to be 100% sure, even though it doesn't give an advantage. So, anyway, but I'm hoping for the best for the future of Need for Speed mods. Link to this mod in the description. Subscribe if you are new and you want to see more Need for 2015, hopefully, and I will probably covering mods if more arrive so as i said thanks for watching leave a like subscribe if you are new and flippy with it i mean face bloody nora look at his face oh <laughs>